Thank Senator you, Reed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, General O'Shaughnessy, as I've indicated in my opening statement, I have con concerns about the use of American military forces along the southern border and a hard time understanding the nature of an emergency that would require military forces when nowhere in the national defense strategy, the worldwide threat statement from the intelligence community, nor the statement from the commander of SOUTHCOM indicate that migrant caravans or civilians crossing the border are a military threat. In fact, in your opening statement, you say, and I quote, the threats to our nation from our southern border are not military in nature, close quotes. So just to be clear in your professional opinion, does the illegal crossing of the border by civilians represent a military threat? Uh, Senator, first, I would say, uh, first, that I do, do think a secure border does reduce threats to the homeland. Now, specific to your question about is it a military threat that is coming towards us, uh, it is not a military threat, but that's slightly different than the answer of whether military should uh, be responding to the, to the situation. Following up, in your professional opinion, again, would a wall be effective in defending a military attack on the United States? Uh, Senator, I would say that, again, I, I would, that border security is national security. I do see uh, that any barrier uh, in place to secure our nation uh, does have some ramifications to our ability to defend against a military threat as well. Uh, right now, there's not a specific uh, military force from the South uh, that we are trying to, uh, trying to uh, take action against. Uh, in this particular case, so, Senator, I would say uh, over the last five months, I've spent a tremendous amount of time on the border, as you would imagine, uh, working with our CBP uh, partners. And uh, in all of those trips and discussions, uh, it has been clear to me um, that the Customs and Border Protection personnel uh, very much value the, board, the border protection in, in seeing it, having the awareness, having some impediments, whether that be a barrier, or a wall, et cetera, and then having the ability to respond to it. And that's been fairly universal as I've been uh, doing my uh, trips to the border. And they are uh, civilian uh, law enforcement officials who have a law enforcement mission, and the context of their evaluation is based upon that law enforcement mission. That, that is correct, Senator. Thank you. You've mentioned many real threats that have been articulated in the national defense strategy. Russia and China in particular, many of them really are not focused on our southern border, but our northern border. Uh, the opening of the Arctic, uh, operations by both China and Russia in the Arctic, and also I think the maintaining the uh, capabilities of NORAD. Uh, those are multi-billion dollar tasks, and do you think they're of more military significance than any operations along the southern border? Uh, Senator, what I would say is those threats are very real. Uh, those threats are what we are focused on uh, with when both NORTHCOM and NORAD because we do see that the evolving threat as articulated within the NDS uh, very much is trying to take advantage of the northern approach. Uh, we have vulnerabilities there that we need to continue to close the gap on, uh, and so that is a focus area for us at both NORTHCOM and NORAD. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, again, thank you for your service. Sure. Uh, General Hyden,